All right, so here I have all the jobs that are listed in the state of Florida. Um, it also shows how much they are paying. So we're gonna do some math here. So here, this job, uh, I'm not sure how much it paid. I think it paid like, what's the cost of the job? I didn't get the chance to see how much it paid. But they probably paid like 15 to 21 dollars an hour see just like this 15 to 21 dollars so that's the average for a customer service uh agent or sales agent here in the state of florida um pays so like 15 to 20 15 dollars to 21 dollars so me um i got paid like 17 dollars an hour i was going to get paid 17 an hour this one pays 18 but i'm not going to be doing no um dispatch because um a lot of people who gang stalk most of the gang stalkers are actually on here so imagine working for a company that you manifested a curse on bad idea <laughs> bad idea but um yes yeah, so these companies are paying you know 15 dollars an hour that's the average that you're seeing here 15 an hour okay so i'm, I'm showing this because just to show how it really doesn't make sense to kind of like live uh here in the state of florida okay it's it's a lot of money to live here there's a housing crisis um literally there was an article here's another job there was an article saying so this one is about 14 dollars an hour i believe there was an article saying that the housing market is about to crash. This one's fifteen dollars an hour. So it, yeah, I mean, homeowners insurance has gone up. The the the, the what do they call it? The Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is the people who are lending money. They are warning about a housing crisis. So the Federal Reserve is telling us about a housing crisis. You know what I mean? What's the point of really doing anything when well, you could just wait and watch the system collapse? You understand what I'm saying? So here we're going to go through some other slides. And we're going to go to another place where you can, you know, look at the housing. How's the housing look in Florida? Okay, so here we got this house, $2,500 for a bedroom. This is the hood. This is the ghetto. Like ghetto, ghetto. Hood, hood. Okay, Palm Beach Lakes Boulevard. Um, definitely Google so you can see this is the hood okay so that's how much it is for a house in the hood and um i think the deposit is about five thousand dollars who the fuck can afford fucking five thousand dollars in a deposit can you tell me i can't that's expensive as hell you know what i mean they go to the deposit right there five fucking thousand dollars bro $5,000 deposit. $2,500 a month. $15 an hour. $600 a week. $1,200 every two weeks. $2,400 every month. $2,500 rent. Does that make sense? There's one for $1,900 here. You understand? But even then, you know, mm, still in the ghetto. Still in the hood. This one is $1,370. Same thing. Okay, you gotta Google the address here. This is 1043 21st Street, West Palm Beach, Florida. Like I said, that's the ghetto, that's the hood. All these houses in the hood, these like the, this is the projects they call it. It's the projects of West Palm Beach, okay? So the only way that you could get an affordable housing here is if you stay in the absolute hood, hood, hood. You understand what I'm saying? So that's the prices you see here. The price is decent, but they ghetto. Like ghetto ghetto. And this is another site. Now you're gonna see some of the nice upper uppity houses. This one, eight thousand dollars for the nice area. Okay. This Riviera, two thousand, same thing. This this one nice area, eight thousand dollars. Eight thousand dollars to stay in a, a fucking place like that. Okay, so two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars for one bedroom. What the fucking fuck? $7,000, you know what I mean? This is the prices 
in Florida to stay in a safe neighborhood. Safety is costing too much. There's like, I mean, who could afford, what person on Section 8 could afford $8,000, $7,000 in rent? Ain't not a motherfucker on Section 8 could afford that. Even $3,000. You know what I'm saying? But that's what they do. They don't want the certain people to stay in certain places, certain people of a certain demographic. So they, you know what I mean? You have to live in a ghetto, in the hood. That's the only way you'll be able to afford to basically live in South Florida. The same area that I just showed you, it says toddler dies in West Palm Beach, right? Toddler dies after being shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm keep showing a woman, four month old baby shot in West Palm Beach. And then worse things, they found a goddamn man in the garbage can in West Palm Beach. And this is the place that they're saying that the rent is a bit cheaper. You know what I'm saying? I even have to go down into the news because, like, literally, it's always crimes and motherfuckers dying up in there. It's goddamn junkies and all types of shit. And this is the only way that you're going to be able to, you know what I mean, even afford a house. But like I said, the housing market is about to crash, according to the Federal Reserve. So if the housing market is about to crash, what is the point of doing anything? Because, you know what I mean? I don't know what tomorrow may bring. I could start working to try to get a house because I'm not going to apply for no assistance, rental assistance, because the thing is, it's a beast system. The people who run the system is the very same people who are gang stalking me. And I have tried this game many, 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 many times. And this is the best results I've ever got. Although I'm homeless, the fact that the system is collapsing is progress. All I have to do is just not be a part of this beast system. And I refuse to keep going back to work for fucking people who are gang stalking me. I have tried to work two jobs before and they purposely tell people not to give me the second job so that I don't move to certain areas. You understand what I'm saying? These people are evil and I'm not going to be a part of this beast system. It's, look at the calculation. If you get paid $20 an hour, right? Eight hours a day, times five days a week, $800 a week. That's good. If I could get paid $20, $3,200, so that's the lowest if I live in a ghetto. But if I get, if I, if I live in a hood, in a nice area, I'll be paying about $2,500 maybe. You know what I'm saying? So who the fuck want to be getting all that? This is $15 an hour. All right, yeah, $700 left over. We got bills. Bills done got raised up high. So about $400 a month. Electricity and water. You feel me? Maybe cable. Alright, so we got $300 left over. Now we're going to need some gas probably. Probably like $200. Depending on where you were. And the rest is for fucking food and groceries. That's not no no allegiance. You can't go out to eat. You can't buy weed. This is all you left with. This is this is what you're doing. You're living on the planet Earth just to fucking live. You're paying just to breathe. You can't even afford to fucking buy a goddamn joint and smoke some weed, bitch. Like you just fucking living on goddamn planet Earth. Like this shit is ghetto. I'm gonna just let this motherfucker collapse because it's already on the verge of collapsing anyway. We wait on the straw to break the camel's back. Fuck the V system.